For most children, being able to play at a local playground is something fun and free they can do. But for some children, it's not so simple. I've come to a village near Cardiff to meet Seth, who's going to show me his local playground. Hey Seth, lovely to meet you. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's head off. Recent research for the charity Scope found almost half of families feel their local playground is not accessible. So Seth, we're at the park and the playground is just up over there. Why can't we go any further? There isn't a path to get to the actual playground, so no children with any wheelchairs or disabilities can really get to it. Two younger brothers, what happens when they want to go to the park? I can't enjoy I can't enjoy it with them. They can go, but I just have to sort of watch and be on my own. What would you like to see? What would be your perfect playground? Just more, just more accessible things, and maybe brain teasers for children that can't, for children that can't get out their chairs, like able, like able body people. Just, I want everyone to just be equal for once. Reggie, Seth's brother, and I set off towards the playground where Eli, their younger brother, was already playing. So Reggie, we're here at the playground and Seth is just down there. How does it make you feel when you and Seth can't play together? Um, it makes me feel disappointed and also him because there's just no way. There might be one day, but no way at the moment that I can go to the park and he can as well, um, which is just upsetting for the both of us because, um, like I said, we are both really inseparable. So we love all the same stuff, but we can't do it sometimes. The community council that looks after the playground says it is constantly examining improvement to play areas in the village. In England, the lack of playgrounds for everyone is also an issue. I'm Tobias and I've been campaigning to make playgrounds more accessible so that everyone can enjoy them. Tobias, who has raised thousands of pounds for charity, wanted to show me what it was like in his home city of Sheffield. So he invited me to see his local playground. Unlike many of the parks there, this does have a ramp, but there's a problem. Here I am at the top of the slope, but there's absolutely nothing I can do. And reversing off the climbing frame is also quite tricky. How does it feel when you get to a playground and you aren't able to use anything? It makes me feel sad and frustrated. I loved going on the swing when I was little, but I haven't used one since I was six years old. Why do you think playgrounds are so important for all children, but especially for children who are disabled? Because they are so enjoyable and having fun is really important for everyone. I want all playgrounds to have accessible equipment that kids with a variety of disabilities can use. It's also really important that this equipment is alongside the current equipment so we can enjoy using the equipment next to our friends and family and not be stuck out on our own. Sheffield Council says it wants to build a fully inclusive playground in the city, but it would need more funding to do so. So are you going to continue campaigning? Of course. I want all children to be able to enjoy playgrounds and have fun together, and I'm not going to stop until this happens.